All right, I've been watching the Hatfield McCoy feud on the TV all weekend. So I decided to take a little road trip, me and Missy, and come to the Hatfield Cemetery over in West Virginia. This grave here is Jonesy's grave, Jonesy Hatfield. He was born in 18... 62 and died in 1922. That's his tombstone there. And this one is where Devil Lance is buried and his wife. That is the statue of him over his grave. There's all their kids. And then on the back, let's look at it. Can't really get it all in there. There it is. Captain Anderson Hatfield. Stones. I got it. This, uh, their two graves are surrounded by a little wrought iron fence. Then down here, there's Troy and Ellis. It's his sons. Eighteen eighty one died in nineteen eleven. And this one eighteen seventy eight and nineteen eleven. It's a long walk up this hill here. It's not as well kept as anyone would have thought. Person would have thought it'd been a real nice place since it was on TV. It's pretty much overgrown. A little shed over there. We kind of figured it was one of his uh, grandchildren over there, underneath that. Jonesies. Then we got Mr. Hatfield here. They said that was a life size statue of him. If so, he wasn't a very big man. He didn't have to be a big man to be mean, though. Peaceful up here though. Somebody's left Jonesy a seashell. There's the back. Okay, we're in Pike County now, 
and I am standing at the uh, McCoy family uh, cemetery. Uh, in this little wrought iron fence here, we have uh, Sarah and Randall McCoy right here. And down here, we have Rosanna. Of course, you know, she had the baby with John Z. Hatfield. So, it's Rosanna's good picture of it. This cemetery is a little bit better took care of, all in all. Um, it's got a nice stairway coming up to it. And it's got uh, landscaping pretty, you know, it's really nice up here, landscape pretty. And it's got signs telling you where the people are. nice little cemetery up here. It's right in town, up in front of the uh, fire station. I just wanted to share this with everybody. Hope you enjoyed it.